Ryan with Lead411, and today we'll walk through on getting fresh sales hooked up to your Lead411 account. So the big thing that you'll need from fresh sales is the URL and security token. So when you do have that information, we'll just plug that right into our credentials. Um, but if you do need help on getting that info, um, this video will kind of walk you through those steps. So the first thing we'll do is we'll click on account settings in the settings tab. This is where it will pop open all of our settings filters where we're going to scroll down to set up CRM for exports. Here is where we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom where we'll have fresh sales. So the big thing you'll want to do is click on credentials and we'll need that account URL. So our account URL is lead4112.freshsales.io. So whatever that URL that you're using to log into your fresh sales, that's where you'll enter this in. And that API key, I got my API key from clicking on my profile, then going to my settings under API. So as long as you're able to get there and we can test this information and it is correct, then we'll be good to go with having fresh sales set up inside of our system. So it is correct under mine, I'll hit save. And if you do need some help on getting your API key, um, Fresh Sales is kind enough to offer a support and a walkthrough on getting that through that API settings. So that's exactly where I found mine. Once you have it set up here and we have it saved, you want to make sure it's selected as your default CRM. And even if you have custom fields inside of your Fresh Sales under leads or contacts, we'll be able to map those up to any one of lead for one fields. So feel free to play with the data mapping, or if you do want to push contacts as contacts instead of leads, you'll definitely have that option in here. Once you do have everything set up and saved, we'll make sure it's saved in here. And then when I run a list, so if I built a list inside of my database, here I'll just run a, a quick save search that I already have. So here I'll hit show results. So out of these software engineers that I built a list from, to get this pushed into sales, sorry, fresh sales, we'll go ahead and click on that down button, and this is where it will say push to fresh sales. So this is where we can do a one-click push right into fresh sales as a lead or a contact. Or if you do want to get this list in bulk into fresh sales, all 1,315, then you will be able to export our data as an Excel or CSV file and be able to import that into fresh sales in bulk. But yeah, the nice thing here is we do have the one-click push options, and you can even customize this button up here. Instead of it saying add to cart, you can have it automatically say push to fresh sales, and that can also be done in that account settings area. So that will be getting it pushed into fresh sales from Lead411. That does also work with LinkedIn profiles. So if we go to a few of these LinkedIn profiles that we have, any of these profiles that we go to, you don't have to be a first or second connection to them to be pushing the data into your CRM. Here I can go right to the profile where I have Kendall, and then over here on the right-hand side, this is where I'll have the fresh sales CRM set up and I can do a one-click push, and that will push them over to my Fresh Sales. So data exported to Fresh Sales CRM successfully. So that will be getting Fresh Sales hooked up and how to get data in there. Um, feel free to reach out to Lead411 with any other questions. More than happy to help you out through the system. Thank you.